once underway, it's very hard to predict how a conflict will develop. In today's world, a war is not just fought militarily, but has many dimensions and a lot of factors involved in it. As Russia continues with its military push, there is a general feeling that things are not going as desired by the Kremlin. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Ukraine invasion by President Putin has put Russia in a mess. Let's get started. As Russian troops invade Ukraine, anti-war protesters have been gathering around the world to demonstrate against Russian aggression. Thousands took to the streets on Saturday in major rallies across Europe, while protests were reported as far away as Japan, Iran, Australia, and the US. Poland and Sweden have stated they will not play Qatar 2020 playoff in March in Moscow few Irish politicians involved in the protest were calling for Russian Ambassador Yuri Filatov to be expelled from the country. The hackers group Anonymous has declared war on Russia, and Russian government websites, as well as news media outlets like TASS and Izvestia, have come under severe attack. It can be said that Putin's Russia is cornered. Initially, most analysts thought that Russia will roll over Ukraine swiftly. The Russian military is better equipped, both in terms of quality and quantity. It also has very good intelligence-gathering capabilities. But things haven't worked out like that. Even after five days, Russia doesn't have clear air superiority, which is astonishing since the Ukraine air power is a fraction of what Russia possesses. Ukraine's military, aided by civilians, has put up fierce resistance, and it's clear that Russian military planners have underestimated them. In many footage, it can be seen that Russian forces have been picked off by well-planned ambushes. Ukraine is a large country, and as Russian forces move inside, the supply lines will be stretched, and things could get more difficult. Together with the US, the UK and the EU have announced new sanctions against Russia's central bank. The EU has announced a blanket ban on Russian flights, meaning they are unable to land in, take off from, or fly over any EU nation. It also banned Russia's state-owned news outlets Sputnik and Russia Today. Select Russian banks were removed from the SWIFT messaging system that cut them off from the international financial system and harm their ability to operate globally. The freeze on Russia's central bank limits Russia's ability to access its overseas reserves. Individual countries are also putting in sanctions. Germany has put on hold permission for the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline from Russia to Germany to open. Australia has imposed sanctions on wealthy Russians and over 300 members of the Russian parliament who voted to authorize sending Russian troops into Ukraine. The Russian ruble plunged to a record low against the US dollar. The Kremlin said that Russia's economic reality had considerably changed in the face of heavy and problematic Western sanctions. As Russia amassed troops near the Ukrainian border, several countries like the US and UK sent defensive weapons. But the situation is elevated to the next level now. The European Union, for the first time, will finance the purchase and delivery of weapons in a show of support for Ukraine against Russia's invasion. Even Germany, which had earlier refused to send weapons, has now stated that it would be sending 1,000 anti-tank weapons and 500 Stinger missiles. Berlin has also dropped some restrictions on German-made weapons being sent to conflict zones, meaning that third countries will be able to send more arms to Ukraine. The potential weapons may not be restricted to simple platforms anymore. There are talks of sending even fighter jets. 
few EU countries have fighter jets types in service that are also used by Ukraine. For example, Bulgaria has about 16 MiG-29 and 14 Su-25. Poland has 23 MiG-29 and 18 Su-22. And Slovakia has 11 MiG-29. All these supplies could inflict a lot of pain on Russian forces. OVD Info, which is an independent Russian human rights monitor and has documented crackdowns on Russians' opposition for years, said 2,144 protesters were arrested on Sunday. This brought the tally of protesters arrested since Putin launched the invasion of Ukraine to 5,250, the monitor said. In Moscow, police had to quell protests on several occasions. Not only this, there's resentment, even among elite wealthy Russians close to the Kremlin, since some sanctions would be hitting them. For example, one of the most prominent Kremlin propagandists, state TV host Vladimir Solviev, cried after learning his access to properties in Europe is now being impacted, and perhaps his ownership as well. As per reports, at least two Russian billionaires close to Putin have expressed their apprehensions. The U.S. has been asking NATO members to pull their weights and increase defense spending. This didn't make much headway till now. But President Putin seems to have accomplished this. For example, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz pledged a one-off special fund of 100 billion euros to bolster Germany's defenses, stating that the country will invest what amounts to more than 2% of its gross national product in military spending. Germany is by far the largest economy in Europe and an increase in its capabilities will in turn upgrade NATO's combined capabilities. So technically, Moscow's actions have united NATO and the alliance will be in much better shape in the coming days. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has emerged as a hero to his nation's citizens and the world as the former actor and comedian first elected in 2019, decided to remain in his country, taking a great personal risk. In the matter Zelensky has conducted himself, as his nation faces an existential crisis, he's won praise from world leaders as well as common citizens. He seems to have been able to rally the nation and any Russian hope of quick capitulation of the Ukrainian government lay in tatters. His video urging Ukrainians to resist the Russian invasion has gone viral on various social media platforms. Basically, President Putin has elevated the stature of his main rival. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.